Can you tell us about any of the cons this series? Well, uh, we're not supposed to tell any of the cons because it gives the game away. Uh, but I, one of the ones that we're doing is called The Spanish Prisoner. And I don't know whether that's a real con that Tony uh, Jordan, who created the show, has come up with and, and changed it around, or whether he created the whole concept. But what it is, is we're doing four cons exactly at the same time, which is, according to the Spanish prisoner lore, <laughs> it's never been done before. And then the second show, which we haven't got done much of yet, is, I, I'm not exactly sure how that one goes. <laughs> what about the marks? Can you tell us about any of them? Well, they're usually, the mark usually is, f the first thing that you look for in a mark is the fact that they have money, and if they have a lot of money, factually speaking, this, or, and uh, work has been done on this in terms of research, uh, a person who has a lot of money who participates in a con expecting to get more money, if he finds out he's being conned, he doesn't want to tell the police. He doesn't want to tell anyone, particularly because he has a great deal of pride in the fact that he wouldn't need to fool around you know, trying to get extra money because he has so much money. So very rarely do people who have cons perpetrated the, on them by con men, such as myself or the character, ever report it. So you, you're pretty fortunate in that sense. You can get away with a lot more because people are embarrassed to admit that they had some money taken away from them by smarts. Do you think Albert's gambling problem will come up again? I think it will, uh, and I'm not sure why. I think I think there was some discussion about it, and uh, I, Tony Jordan created the show and has written most of the scripts, and I, I sent him what's called a backstory in show business about what I thought Albert's life was like before he became a con man, and I think he has integrated, although I haven't seen the script, I think he has integrated some of the stuff that I gave him in the backstory into one or both or two shows. I know that I I I know that I believe that I make contact, I find out who my grandfather was, I don't know, but most importantly, I have a grandson, and I, th I think that the grandson will appear in, as a character in one of the segments of this season. What sort of characters does Albert play this series? Well, the, so far, I've only seen the first two scripts, and basically, he, he plays a variation on himself, kind of a, uh, an expansive salesman kind of fellow, selling his personality, jovial, outgoing, and so on where Albert is a little more reclu reclusive than, uh, than this character. Do you think the gang will ever face any con consequences from their action? Well, we had one show uh, in the, uh, one of the earlier series where we had, were all just getting out of jail. And, of course, Albert has been in jail more times than anyone else because he's older and therefore has had more opportunity to go to jail. But that was one of the shows that I liked very much. And, uh, and how I got out of jail was very interesting. I convinced the warden that I was a, a lover of cats, and it's too hard to explain what that means, but she also was a lover of cats, and therefore she felt sympathy for me, and she let, helped get me out early. And would you like to star in the possible Hustle movie? Absolutely. I'd love to do a Hustle movie. I know I think that some conversation has occurred along those lines, but more often than not, they will usually uh, hire the, somebody different than the people who do the show. So I hope maybe in this case they will hire me instead of somebody else to play me because I can play me better than anyone else can play me.